Hi everybody, this is Chris from Satrum Public Library Studio and I want to talk about an app or a few apps that you can use to order food. The first is DoorDash. So when you first go into DoorDash, um, you get your information here. You can choose from restaurants that are local to where you are or you can search for restaurants. And yes, even the fast food places like Burger King and McDonald's and Chili's, they all deliver. So let's say you wanted to go to Wendy's, there's a $2.99 delivery fee. So you would hit Wendy's and you would see the different menu items. And you can also see the, the more general menu here and you can make an order and have it uh, delivered. You can also search for other places. And one place that we like to go to is Moe's. So type in Moe's. I could spell Moe's Southwest Grill. So here it is, and here's your menu. You can click on the different things you'd like to add to your your menu, and when you're done, so let's sit, let's select this, add it to my order, add this to it, add to order, and then you can go to your checkout. And it tells you your tax, delivery charge. You're going to hit continue. And it's going to ask if you want it delivered. And you'll say yes. And you can order a tip. And then you can hit buy with Apple Pay. And you can pay with the credit card attached to your Apple Pay. It's really that simple. And once you submit the order, it gives you an estimate for when it's going to be delivered. And you can actually track your delivery driver in real time to see when they're going to actually come to your door and deliver. Now, with the situation we're currently in with the coronavirus, they have a no-contact rule where they place the food on your doorstep. So there isn't even a need to give the driver a tip. So that's a really great app that we like to use here at home. And another app we use is Uber Eats. So Uber Eats does the same kind of thing, but it uses Uber drivers. So if we go into Uber Eats, it's going to load... And then it gives us, you can give them your address, and it's the same concept. You can search for a restaurant. So let's say we're looking for pizza. Let's see what's local for pizza. Sable Pizza, Mama Lombardi's. So we can hit Mama Lombardi's. And you can also search by restaurant. And not every restaurant is on every app. And you'll see sometimes that you'll kind of strike out with certain restaurants. So you can see that this is on Furrows Road in Holbrook. And you can see the different menu options that they have, and you can select what you want, add them to your cart, and then you can send your order. And it does the same thing. You can actually track your order, see when the Uber driver picks up your item, and you can track in real time to see when they're going to come to your door. And again, because of what's happening with the current corona issue, it's a no-contact experience where the driver will put it on your front porch. So that is Uber Eats. Uh, another app that we like to use, if you have a gluten allergy, you can use an app called Gluten Free Scanning. So let's say you're in the restaurant, not in your restaurant, if you're in a supermarket and you want to purchase something with somebody in your home has a gluten sensitivity, you can actually hit the scan button as I get something here. Hit scan. And then you see that barcode comes up and you see that this item contains gluten. So let's do that one more time. It's really sensitive. So if you take the barcode, line it up, it reads it and it says whether it's obviously this one is not available. Um, so let's grab something else. And we'll click scan. It scans it and it tells you whether or not it may have traces of gluten. There's another one here. And this is no gluten containing ingredients. So this is a great tool to see if something that you're looking for to purchase has some type of gluten in it. It's a really great app for people with gluten allergies and gluten sensitivity. We shut some of these apps. And another app that I like to use is not necessarily for food per se, but it is um, an app that's great. It's called Keyring. So we all have all of those Shopper Club cards attached to our key rings for whether it's CVS or Stop and Shop or AC Moore or whatever else. So with this app, you can actually scan your card 
and add your Shoppers Club card. So here's my CVS. I can make it much larger so it's easy to scan. Same thing, Stop and Shop, AC Moore, you name it. The stores are here. Even the old Borders is still here, even though Borders is out of business. So it's really easy to set up. You would hit the plus symbol. Keyring would like to access your camera, of course, and you would basically scan your barcode on your Shoppers Club card. If it's a recognized code that um, that is in their database, then they will be able to add it directly with all of the logos. So you get this kind of look. If not, you can actually add your Shoppers Club card in. If it's something along the lines of a like total pet care, you can add all kinds of information about it and add it to your uh, key ring. So this is a great handy thing to have because you can just pull it up on your phone and even just show it to the cashier and they can scan it with their scan gun. So those are some really cool apps for food and for shopping. If you have any questions, you can always reach out to us at the Sachem Library at uh, 631-588-5024, or you can email us at studio at sachemlibrary.org.